Welcome. In this video, you'll learn about the features of the MagHealy Meridian module and how to use it. To start a Meridian analysis, click on the plus in the module card on your or your client's dashboard in the Heal Advisor Analyze app. The module is only visible if you are or have been connected to a MagHealy device. On the initial screen, you can access more information about the module or start the analysis right away. If your MagHealy is not connected, you will now be prompted to connect it. Simply follow the individual steps to establish the connection. Now, focus on the coherence of the meridians in your or your client's body and start the analysis in the information field. As a result, you will receive an overview of the coherence of the 12 main meridians, both for the left and right side. The arrows indicate whether a meridian is in the coherent or incoherent range. An incoherent state can be hyperactive or hypoactive and means that the energy flow of the meridian is blocked. The meridians are automatically arranged in descending order so that the most incoherent meridian is displayed at the top. If you select the By Clock view, the arrangement changes according to the times of the meridian clock, starting with the heart meridian. Tapping on a meridian card opens the information page for that meridian. This and some more information can also be accessed via the menu in the upper right corner. The meridian with the highest incoherence is pre-selected, but you can manually select another meridian. In the advanced settings, up to three meridians can be activated for the detailed analysis. To start a deeper analysis of the selected meridians, click the Continue button at the bottom. Now you can enter your own positive focus sentence or select one of the suggested focus sentences. You should focus on this focus sentence during the deeper analysis or on a positive state you wish to achieve. You should have a positive mindset of receiving in gratitude to analyze the information that can help you achieve this positive state. In general, you should always focus on achieving the best possible outcome for you or your client. The first step of the deeper analysis is to analyze in the information field which acupuncture points of the meridian have the highest relevance. In the second step, for the two most relevant acupuncture points of the respective meridian, it is analyzed in five meridian-specific databases which positive information can contribute to the coherence of the meridian. In the third step, the resonance with the meridian-specific MagHealy and Healy Meridian programs is analyzed, which differ depending on the meridian and whether the meridian is in the hyperactive or hypoactive range. We recommend using the MagHealy and Healy program with the highest resonance every day except Sundays for one to two weeks. The results list contains both database results and program results, which can be selected accordingly using the button above. The results are sorted in descending order of relevance. Further analysis parameters are intensity and potency. You can find more detailed information about each parameter by clicking on the tag images. Read the individual results carefully and reflect on what comes to mind. You can now use the results list of the Meridian databases for harmonization in the information field and vibrate it by tapping the button below. Please note that now only the positive information, such as the desired state and desired state description are displayed, because only these are sent into the information field. At the bottom, you can now select the desired transmission time and send the positive information for harmonization into the information field by tapping Vibrate. After successful completion of the vibration process, you can switch back to your or the client's dashboard. When you tap on a program in the program list, the Healy app automatically opens with the selected Meridian program and the connection to the Heal Advisor Analyze app is terminated. If you want to access your lists again at a later time, you can find them in the general history and in the module history on your or on your client's dashboard.